Okay, let me explain to you what I just read to you from NDAA 2013, section number 1078, entitled Dissemination Abroad of Information About the United States. After World War II, Smith and Munt, M-U-N-D-T, got together and said, you know, what happened in Germany we don't want to happen in America. So they passed that act in 1948, the Educational Exchange Act. And in this act, it said that the United States can broadcast anything it wants to foreign countries. In other words, it's okay to lie, to disseminate disinformation outside of the United States. So that was passed in 1948. The United States can tell lies anywhere in the world except for the United States. Now that was the intent. Now. Has that been true? No. The United States has been subjected to propaganda and lies since its founding and even before its founding. However, this act in 1948 covered their bases. In other words, um, we can say whatever we want to a foreign country and still feel okay about it. Now, supposedly, the people of the United States were protected from lies and disinformation and propaganda. Now, I say supposedly, all right? <laughs> In other words, <laughs> on the books, that's the way it was supposed to be. However, what came along originally was called the smith mont Modernization Act, taking the work of Smith and Mont in the 1948 exchange, educational exchange, and saying, you know, we've been broadcasting propaganda abroad in any country we want, but we haven't been doing it in the United States. So, what was passed was this section here, Dissemination Abroad of Information of the United, about the United States. In other words, lies and propaganda were, quote, legal, as long as it was outside the United States. So, in fancy language that escapes the average listener, and you get caught up in all kinds of technical terms so you miss the implications. The implication is that it has been amended and the amendment, see, is now we can do the same here in the United States of America and that everything is under this Broadcasting Board of Governors. In other words, all information disseminated in any form, magazine, newspaper, television, radio, and even internet, is under this board. Of governors and the Board of Governors are appointed by the President of the United States so now there's an authorization to have the secretary of this board and this board to basically be controlling all sources of information in the United States of America now, if you read some goofy websites or some um, shills 
or government propagandists, they will deny this. But this is the fact, okay? That all information, all, comes under this board and its authority. All right? So we're going to look at the actual board. And I know this is rather small, so I'm going to try to magnify it a little bit. This so-called Board of Governors really began in 1994. Now, what ties it all together is that the board is established, okay, and appointed by the president for a three-year term. Okay? So now you have the president appointing members who are basically controlling all the information that is disseminated not only abroad, outside of the boundaries of the United States, but inside the United States as well. And if you were paying close attention when I read the text, all this information is to sort of be kept locked up and not disclosed for a period of about 12 years. In other words, they'll deny everything and not a word will be said about the hoaxes and the lies that are imposed on the American people who think they're real. And even after the 12 years, I highly doubt that folks are going to be able to get to that information. I'm not sure how that will all work out under Freedom of Information Act. But basically, it says that no matter what source you go to, television, radio, magazines, okay, anything, it's under the control of this Board of Governors. Everything is carefully monitored and thrown in your face. And we have seen this already and the two major incidents that are current right at the moment, the so-called COVID-19 hoax virus, and also the so-called riots in the street, which are just films. And thousands and thousands of youth who are hired to come out and act like there's a riot, okay? And where is the, all the payment coming from? It's coming from the federal budget. In other words, the tax dollars of the American people pay actors to come and film and then produce the films that will lie to the American people. Propaganda people lies. And yet, no matter how many times I have said to people, propaganda is legal, it flies over their head. Mostly it's because people don't want to believe it. So I hope this was helpful to you. And um, you can always try what I try. I'm not sure that you'll have success. I haven't. Maybe you will. Tell people propaganda is legal. It's actually in NDAA 2013, Section 1078. That's why I read it. So I'd like to affirm the one who doesn't lie to us, the Lord our God. He's incapable of lying. And the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord Jesus. Stay by the Lord Jesus. Let the Lord Jesus dwell in your heart and let the Word of God dwell richly in you. Because the Word of God is truth. And if you let truth in your heart and life, 
There will be no room for lies and propaganda. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my sister in Christ. Thank you, my friends, for watching this. I appreciate your viewership. This ends the video.